Yes. Yelp State, a science team, has been gathering information on business closures since the start of the pandemic, using the over 200 million reviews and photos. Their new data, which is exclusive to Squawk Box, is helping to reveal more fully the economic impact of this crisis. For instance, since March 1st, retail represents 23 percent of all the business closures on Yelp. Of those, 27 percent are indicated as permanent closures. Restaurants are also getting hit hard, as 48 percent indicated they could not come back from this crisis. Joining us right now for more on this data is Justin Norman. He is Yelp's vice president of data science. And, Justin, we're excited to have you here today because we are having such a hard time trying to use the normal economic data that we follow on a weekly or monthly basis to try and figure out what's happening in these very unusual times. Um, so what you're doing really offers some real-time insight into what's on the ground. First of all, tell us about how many businesses have actually closed during this. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Um, so as of June 10th, uh, and as you mentioned, we've been capturing this since the beginning of March when the shelter-in-place orders really came into effect. We've seen more than 143,000 total business closures. Um, and what we're seeing within that data is that over 35% of these are marked as permanent closures by businesses, which means that they are not expecting to reopen uh, according to what they're reflecting on Yelp. And it's important to, to note that this is just a reflection of what Yelp is able to see um, as businesses mark that data on our platform. Uh, so there actually could be more um, or, or hopefully slightly less, but it is a reflection of what we're seeing. In, in terms of the breakdown, what uh, retail and restaurant we know are a big part of them. What, what percentage do they each make up? Uh, sure, absolutely. So as you uh, said before, retail makes up about 23% of total businesses closed since March 1st, uh, and restaurants are coming in at about 17%. Um, it is really uh, a telling that restaurants in particular are 48% of, of closures uh, are marked as permanent. So even though restaurants have a higher degree of closures overall, we're seeing that some restaurants might have had very little um, reserve cash as we went into the pandemic. And had to close immediately. And then later uh, in May, or most recently, we're seeing a second wave of closures really come in for restaurants. Uh, and that's when some restaurants who have been able to find a way to survive for a period of time ran out of that cash reserve or realized that the secondary mechanisms of, of making money just weren't enough uh, and are transitioning now into a closed state. We, we also saw on the screen uh, the idea that beauty, uh, beauty salons and others had been closed for a long time, too. What other businesses have been affected? Yeah, absolutely. So beauty uh, actually makes up about 13 percent of the total businesses closed and is a, a smaller overall percentage of, of businesses that are tracked on Yelp. Um, but we are seeing something interesting in, in beauty in that uh, there aren't as many uh, permanent closures and aren't as many uh, total closures. So 18 percent of, of the 13 percent are marked as permanent. And what that indicates is that there are likely other mechanisms of, of business uh, beauty businesses uh, to deliver their services to their consumers. So we saw that YouTube is being utilized to, to give hair tutorials. A lot of makeup providers are being able to actually send out packages uh, via delivery to their consumers. So they're, they're making a, a good run to be able to still deliver their services uh, and keep the, the revenue up. Another area is fitness. Uh, so online fitness has become uh, all the rage during the pandemic. Many people are taking part in uh, video on-demand lessons. I know myself, I'm a, I'm a part of that community. Um, and as a result, these gyms and fitness institutions are able to continue to uh, get that recurring revenue over time. Um, and you're seeing uh, really only 5% of businesses that are closed uh, since March 1st are in the fitness industry, although there are uh, a, no, a lower number of, of, of fitness um, uh, businesses overall uh, on Yelp. Hey, Justin, do you break this down geographically, the places that are, are maybe opening up and starting to see a little success? Sure. So we do have that information, although we did not see any strong trends geographically. And remember, the data is actually um, calculated up until the 10th of June. So a lot of the shelter-in-place orders have just now started to uh, release, especially for um, businesses that require people to, to spend time inside, like dine, diner seated in restaurants or fitness uh, organizations. So we haven't seen a, a lot of changes in that um, geographically, but we'll definitely keep an eye on it.